I think to be part of something that's going to change the way we exist is, is huge. <laughs> this is something that I don't think that we or anybody else is ever going to see in their lifetime. It was too new a concept. There wasn't anything like it at all. And uh, most of the big companies were scared of it. Somehow it'll come up in a conversation. And, uh, you know, I just think, well, maybe, maybe those, those people will get it going, you know. It's got to happen eventually. <laughs> you get into something with a, a modest investment of effort and enthusiasm, and then you get enamored with it, and it grows and it builds. <laughs> wings. Oh, that's perfectly feasible, sir. As a matter of fact, we're working on one now. Don't you shut up. Your air-minded commuter can now keep the family air buggy in his own backyard garage. Inventor Waldo Waterman's new autoplane is a forecast of what we may expect of the future. We're dealing with a wing and a body. And the wing you need to fly with and the body you need to drive with. And Waldo took each of those and made an entity of them and separated them in a clean, streamlined, simple solution to the problem. He had visions, I think, of being the Henry Ford of the air, you know, of having a combination airplane and automobile. Well, Waldo missed the brass ring every time he grasped it. But in the process, he lived an extremely interesting life. Next thing we know, Sunday drivers will be headed for the stratosphere using cloud banks for parking lots. If it uh, looks like an automobile and like a, a pretty automobile that people will buy, they're going to buy it. In fact, this was the final production version of it, the one that I worked on for that matter. And here you can see the car. It's a very attractive car. It's a fiberglass body car and it is what we call a fastback today. It's nice and streamlined for that matter. And it has good visibility all the way around. And it's rather a nice looking machine. First of all, you've got to get your flying automobile out of the garage, drive to an airport and back it up under your flight section, don't think it'll take too long to do it. Then you're ready to taxi out on the field and get clearance to take off and away you go. The other end when you land, uh, usually is some ground handler that comes out and talks to you and asks you about this crazy machine. And Moulton Taylor of Longview, Washington designed and built the Aero Car. At San Francisco's International Airport, Taylor shows how quickly you can convert car into plane, change a 60 mile per hour traffic hampered buggy into a high flyer on the unlimited highways of the sky. Is this what I think it is? Well, uh, just, uh, just, just what do you uh, think it is? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, well, you see, actually, it's sort of a motorized schizophrenia. One moment, it's getting a ticket for double parking, and the next, it's skimming over your backyard while you're sunbathing. <laughs> He would have these dreams and he had these inventions and they came through him from the dreams. So that's how he got inspired. So I remember he had me believing I'd have a job I never had to worry. And we each had a car. <laughs> so okay, your life is set. Oh yeah. Um, actually I thought my dad would, he'd sell the flying car and become a millionaire and he'd be able to put me through college. So that's what I was looking forward to.
the Mizar Air Car was conceived by engineers who felt America's need for a practical, safe new style of transportation. Their achievement is a unique machine, simple to operate as an airplane, more convenient than any ordinary automobile. The Mizar integrates an FAA-approved certified airframe and aircraft engine with a modified conventional automobile like a Ford Pinto. Even though he pursued the Mizar and did all, he, did all he could to make it work. Um, he almost worshipped that thing like an idol, which I didn't think was right. I didn't like that part of it. Because it, it did become an idol. He ate it, he breathed it, he lived it. It can be converted from car to plane in minutes with no special skills or tools. Instead of having the family first, this was first. You know, it's just eat, drink, and sleep in a flying car, you know. Galpin Ford steps ahead again as national distributor of the Mizar Air Car. It's the practical way to avoid traffic congestion. It started like when we were younger and he was always away on a business trip and then after he left, you know, when we were at our new house and he went to stay at the old house, he was always gone. So it was like a constant business trip and we never saw him. So it was just someone that was there in the background, but you never saw him for years and years. With great pride, Mizar Air Car Incorporated presents the vehicle of the future, the Mizar. It's here today. So I had this reoccurring dream that the plane, when it was flying like 400 feet in the left, left hand pattern and the left wing collapsed, and I kept telling my husband, I says, you know, there's a crack in the left wing there, and I says, the stress, you know, on it uh, isn't that good. And anyways, he took his best friend up and he flew the plane, and I happened to be in the grocery store at the time. I was across the street at Food Queen and I got this terrible feeling and it was like 5.03 in the afternoon and uh, I go, something terrible has happened. I know the plane's crashed. It was a fool's errand. I mean, it, it was the whole idea of a flying automobile is a, is a dream. So it just seemed prudent to forget about it until the right day came along. Well, it's, it's never come. So until we run across some, something that someone is able to understand gravity and able to, to uh, shield, make anti-gravitational shields, You'll never have anything like this. You'll never do it. Right two lanes blocked until further notice with a jackknife, big rig, and a San Clemente South. A flying car really does change our whole concept of how we live, where we live. I mean, it's not going to be, uh, the whole real estate market's going to be different. All the surrounding areas around the city, which were previously inaccessible or too far to commute, are going to be accessible. Just the same way that the uh, automobile changed the way the cities were built. Uh, the, the, uh, the flying car is going to change how cities look in the future. You can basically drive it from the front of your house, take off straight up just like a helicopter and away you go. With a flying car and the internet, you know, have laptop will travel, you're just a free man. You, you can do business anywhere, be anywhere, do anything. Complete freedom. That's it. I've got a lot of uh, a lot of will to make this succeed. I mean, I have uh, I have done a lot of things in my life related to preparing myself for this. Failure was if failure was imaginable, I would have failed a long time ago. There's there's I mean, I've been bankrupt dozens of times. I mean, theoretically very bankrupt, you know, but I would never recognize it. And keeping in mind that many of these investors came on board 30 years ago and uh, put in a large amount of money in this. And, and 30 years later, they haven't seen anything out of it. You have to face the facts. 
Man has to see things as they really are. After all, a man with responsibilities can't walk around with his head in the clouds all the time. A man should keep his feet solidly on the ground. Oh, a man should have his dreams. But a man has to learn to put those dreams to some practical use. Not just sit around and think about them all the time. Thank you.